Hi again, Teacher Tina here from Dearborn Park International School. Woohoo! Go Dragons! I teach preschool over there, and I just want to thank all the kindergartners and first graders who have been watching videos with us this week um, and doing these fun math activities that we have um, tried on for you. And like I said, this is something new for us, and so. Thanks for uh, watching and thanks for trying new things at your house too. I know that this is a little weird, but uh, you know what? We're all in it together. So glad I could be making these for you. Now, I don't know if you remember from the other two videos. First, we're gonna start, ooh, here we go. First, we're gonna start with a game. Second, we're gonna do a story. Third, I'm going to throw it over to Miss Day from Arbor Heights, and she's going to do math movement. And fourth, she's also going to do a math talk with you. So I hope you enjoy today's math game and read aloud with me. We're going to start. Remember last time how we drew um, a tens frame? We were, well, first, the first time we played hide the penny where I put out some pennies like this. Put out some pennies like this. And I hid the pennies and I said, oh, how many are under my hand? Okay, you remember that, right? Then the second time we did it, I used a 10 frame that has 10 boxes on it and that made it a little bit easier we were able to count the pennies that were hiding a little faster because we had organized them in a way that made that easier to count well today we're going to add another tens frame so that we can use more pennies than just 10. so remember to make our tens frame first we start with a rectangle that has two long sides and two short sides like this. All right, you got it? Okay, after you draw that, you put a line through the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be squabbly. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And now we're gonna put four lines across like this, from top to bottom like this. One, two, three, Four. So now when I count, I should have 10 boxes all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. And when I count all of these boxes together, how many do you think we're going to have? 15. If there's 10 here, and 10 here. Hmm. How many could that be? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's right. Because, did you say twenty? Oh, you got it then. Nice work. Because over here, there's 10, remember? And here there's 10. And some of us know that 10 plus 10 is the same as 20 altogether. So I could write that over here. There's 20 altogether. Okay? So let's see. I'm going to put pennies out. So we can put 20 pennies out. So I'm gonna fill all the boxes with pennies so that we have 20 pennies. Sorry if there's a little more of a shadow this time. I had to switch sides because I had a lot of sun shining right in my eyes. It was making it hard for me to see. We're lucky we're having so much sun these days, aren't we? All right, so now I've got 20 pennies ready to go. And we're still going to play hide the pennies. Whoa, uh oh, I forgot one there. Thank you. Somebody saw that. I heard it. All right, 
We're going to play hide the pennies, but this time we're going to play with 20 pennies. Are you ready for that? Okay, here we go. So if I hide like this, how many pennies am I hiding? Did you count, did you guess eight? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mathematicians always double check. So that's what we're doing. Even though we've counted eight boxes here, mathematicians double check their work. There we go, okay. So let's see if I can make one a little bit trickier. How can I make this trickier? And that's something you can think about at home too is how can you make it trickier? Hmm, maybe you're really good at this. Maybe you're really good at making it tricky. All right, I'm gonna get my cover sheet here. Oh, how about this? How about if instead of starting with 20, we start with 15 this time? Okay, there's an idea. So there's 10, okay, here's 10, right? We don't need to count them because we know there's 10. So we can just say 10 and then count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now, oh, this is gonna be trickier, isn't it? Because now we're not counting these, right? Because we're not using those boxes. Interesting. All right, so I'll cover those up so that you're not too confused by those. So now we've got 15 and I'm going to hide some pennies. How many pennies am I hiding in my hand? Did you say six? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six are missing. And yes, I have six on the side. All right. What if I take just two more? Now how many pennies am I hiding? I had six before, and then I grabbed two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is a crazy fun game you can play at home and you can mix it up. You can play with one tens frame. You can play with two tens frames. You can play with no ten frames. Lots of different ways to play hide the penny. Hide the pennies. All right, let me get these swept up here out of the way. Scoot you back up to me. Hi. <laughs> So today, uh, we're going to read a different book in this video. I keep saying today and yesterday because, you know, I'm a teacher and it's used to being day after day instead of three videos in a row. <laughs> so earlier in the other videos, we read Who Sank the Boat? Okay. And that is a super fun book. We read it two different ways. First, we read it um, using a word balance to see who is balancing the boat and who is sinking it. And then the second time we read it, we read uh, by counting how many animals were in the boat and what happened every time we added one more to the boat. Today, we're gonna flip a little, just take a little turn, make something different, shake it up a little. 
and I'm gonna read you one of my favorite books. It's called 10 Black Dots by Donald Cruz. And I thought of this book because of the pennies and because of the different shapes that you can make with dots, not just pennies and nickels and dimes and other coins, but just with dots themselves. You could just draw dots and make shapes. Alrighty, you ready? Here we go. Ten Black Dots by Donald Cruz. Donald, whoop, <laughs> Donald Cruz is the uh, author and the illustrator. He did the words, he wrote the words, and he drew the pictures. And he is asking us to think about what can you do with ten black dots? Let's see here. With one dot, you can make the sun. Where is it? Over here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My video feels backwards for some reason this time. So one dot can make a sun, or it can make a moon when the day is done. Well, look at that. There's two dots. Let's count. One, two. Two dots can make the eyes of a fox. Or the eyes of keys that open up locks when you use them in the door. So here again, we've got two. One, two eyes and one, two keys eyes of keys. Oh, three dots can make a snowman's face. One, two, three. Or they can be beads stringing on a lace. One, two, three. Three beads stringing on a lace. So we've done one, two, three, four dots can make seeds from which flowers will grow. One, two, three, four. Or they can be the knobs on a radio. One, two, three, four. Five dots can make buttons on a coat. One, two, three, four, five. Or they can make, whoops, wrong side. Or they can make the portholes on a boat. Oh, look at that. The windows of a boat are called portholes. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder what creative drawings you could make with dots. Six dots, oh hey, here's an interesting way to show six dots. They didn't put them all on the same page. They split them up into two groups. Donald Cruz, you're a tricky. Six dots can make marbles that you hold. Half are new and the rest are old. Let's count and make sure that there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he made two groups of dots to make six. Ooh, seven dots can make the spots in a snake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or stones turned up by a garden rake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here he split them into two groups again. Do you see how he split eight into two groups again? There's four on this page in this group, and there's four on this page in this group to make eight. Eight dots can make the wheels of a train. 
carrying freight through sun and rain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if he'll do nine all together or if he'll do nine in two groups also. He did them all together this time. Oh no, he did them on two pages. Again, he mixed them into two, he split them into two groups. So he's got nine dots all together that make toy soldiers standing in rank. And how many on this page? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five on this page. And four on this page, one, two, three, four. So five plus four is nine. Here's five, here's four. All together, it's nine. The pennies in your piggy bank can also be nine. See here, he put them all in one group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or maybe you see that as two groups. You might see it as here's a group that's kind of like a circle with one in the middle, and here's one on its own up here. Maybe you saw that. How about ten? Ten dots can make balloons that are stuck in a tree. And look at he split them up into two groups on the different pages again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake the tree! Shake it! Shake the branches and they'll all go free! And you know what? He made two groups again, but this time, instead of five and five, he did one, two, three on this page, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this page. And that's ten altogether. Three. One, two, three, plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, here we go. Count them. Are there really ten? Now we can begin again. Counting dots from one to ten. There's one. How many are here? One, two. Yep, how many are here? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. This kind of makes me think of um, Who Sank the Boat? When they started with cow in the boat and then it was the cow and the donkey in the boat and then it was the cow and the donkey and the sh pig right the pig and then it was the cow and the donkey and the pig and the sheep and then it was the cow and the donkey and the pig and the sheep and the mouse splashed the whole boat sank the boat they didn't get to six but we can keep counting Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, I'm noticing a pattern that they always have five on this page. There's always five on this page. And then they add on the rest on this page. 
So I bet we could count nine just starting at five. We don't even have to count these because we know there's five there. So we can go five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Kindergartners and first graders, thank you so much for watching these videos and for letting us come visit you at your home. We sure do miss you and can't wait to see you again. Hello again, kindergartners and first graders and all the friends who are watching. I'm Miss Day and I'm a teacher at Arbor Heights and all the teachers, we miss you and we can't wait to be with you in school. All right. Thank you, Teacher Tina, for reading us Who Sank the Boat. Now, I am going to lead us through another movement activity today. And this time, the movement activity is going to be using a die. So if you have a dice at home, there's lots of different numbers on it. This is something we do in my class and I do with my kids. We're going to roll the dice, and then, depending on what number comes up, we're gonna decide how we wanna move our bodies and we're gonna move our bodies that many times. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready to roll the dice for you. Oh, huh. somebody's here, hold on, let me, let me see. Oh, look at this. Hello, everybody. Well, hello, Sam. I'm so glad you could show up. Maybe next time wear a shirt. Is it warm outside? Oh no, I, I just felt comfortable, you know. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time in home, at home and it's nice not to have to, you know, put on clothes or wake up to an alarm clock. And Sam, you know, uh, we should tell everyone why you're here. It's because you actually live here with me, don't you? Yes, that's why you're here with us. But thanks for ringing the doorbell. It made it a fun entrance. Hey, Sam. Do you want to play a game with us? Oh yeah, I love games. Okay, so we're gonna roll this dice and then you're gonna tell the kids at home how to move their bodies and then you can move your body too. Deal? Oh, that, that sounds like a deal. Okay, ready? I'll roll it. Okay, whoa, what number did I roll, Sam? Well, that looks like a three. Yeah, look, it's three. Let's count it. One two, three. Okay, thanks, Sam. How should we move our body three times? Jump. All right, let's jump. Ready, go. One, two, three. All right, did you do that at home too? Okay. All right, you want to roll it? You want to roll it this time, Sam? Do I ever? Okay, Sam, ready? Take this and Woo! what did you roll, Sam? It looks like I rolled a one. All right, Sam, now we can move our bodies one time or should we times it by 10 and pretend it's a 10 so we can move more than just once? Yeah! Okay, Sam, what should we do with our bodies this time? Let's twist. Okay, let's twist. We're gonna do it not just one time. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, thank you so much, Sam. Okay, now I think this time I'm gonna roll the die, okay? All right, maybe if you're at home, you could uh, roll a dice with me, or later today, you could practice this with your family and give everyone a chance to roll the dice. And maybe you have two, you could add the numbers together. That would be fun. Okay, let's roll it. Ready? All right, I rolled the number four. Did you see that? Sometimes you can see that without even counting. You just know it's four. If you have to count, that's okay. You want to count it, Sam? All right. Let's see. How can we use your hands? Let's just pretend to do it with your lips. One, two, three, four, four. Okay. Um, let's pat our heads four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right. Thank you so much. That is super fun. 
And uh, oh, um, I I could ask. Okay, Sam wants to know if. Um, sorry, I'm looking for something. He wants to know if he can tell you a joke. Are you ready to hear a joke? All right, let's do it. Ready? Uh, fine. Okay. How did the ocean say hello? I, I don't know. How did it? It waved. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thank you, Sam. All right. Well, I think it's time for us to move on to our math talk. Would you like to join us for the math talk? You can sit next to me and watch, okay? Actually, I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat lunch. Okay. Bye. Everyone say bye to Sam and wave like the ocean. Bye, Sam. Thanks for helping us with the movement activity. Whew. All right. So remember, use a die. You can play so many different fun games with it, and you can use it to help you move your body. All right, I'll see you next for our math talk. Hello again. It's Miss Day, your preschool teacher from Arbor Heights. I'm here to say hi to the kindergarten and first graders, and I'm excited to do another number talk with you today. You will notice I have three friends who are going to help us today. You might know who they are. Um, we have Vampirina from her house today. We have the incredible Hulk who took a break from saving the world to join us for this number talk. And we have Peppa Pig, and all of them are staying safe, washing their hands, playing in their homes, and they're excited to be with us today online. And they can't wait to get back to school, just like I can't wait to get back to school, and all of your teachers, we miss you, and we wanna be with you at school. For now, though, here we are, and we're gonna play a game. So like before, I'm going to show you an image just for about three seconds. And you're going to look and you're going to think, hmm, what do I see? How many do I see and how do I see them? I'm going to show you coins again today. Okay, Vampirina? Okay, Hulk? Okay, Peppa? So you're thinking, how many coins do I see and how do I see them? And at home, if you're at home and, and you have paper, or if you just want to remember, or if you have someone that you can talk to, a mommy or daddy or a cousin or a brother or sister or a dog or a toy, that, or you can talk to me too. And we'd like to know what you're thinking when you look at this image. Okay, are you ready? You only get to see it for a second. Now, I hope you're all thinking, how many coins did you see? And how did you see them? Hmm. Okay, Vampirina, Hulk, Papa, you ready to see it one more time? Before we all talk about it? Are you ready at home to see it one more time? Okay. Karina, can you at home, just on the count of three, everyone just tell me how many coins did they see? Ready? How many did you see? Okay, let's find out. Let's talk about it together. Okay, so here we go. Peppa, you're up first. Tell us. How many coins did you see and how did you see them? Okay, Peppa's saying that she saw three groups of five. And how did you see them? Okay, so she said that she saw five silver coins on the, this side and five silver coins on the other side. Oh, so you noticed the silver first and you noticed five in the middle. So how many did you see? Oh, 
Okay, she says 15. If you saw 15, can you go like this? And how did you count them, Peppa? Okay, by fives. I've heard that. That's, uh, that's one way to do it. Let's see. Let's count together. Ready? Five, 10, 15. All right. So there are, you saw 15 coins in three groups of five. All right. Did anyone see it a different way? Or if you saw it like Peppa, you can go like this. Okay, Vampirina, how did you see it? So Vampirina said she saw, you said you saw three here, and you saw three here. So it looks like you're grouping them kind of like Peppa. And then you saw three here, okay. Oh, and then you saw two on the bottom here, two on the bottom here, and two on the bottom oh, here. And so how many did you see? How many did you see? 15. And so you counted them. She said she counted the threes first, so let's count with her. Three, six, nine, eleven. 13, 15. Wow, so you counted three groups of threes and three groups of twos and you put them all together and you also found that there were 15 coins. Thank you for sharing that, Vampirina. If you at home saw it like Vampirina, can you go like this? Did you see it a different way? Can you tell someone next to you how you saw the coins and how many there were? In with Hulk. Again, thank you so much for coming today. And back at home, I'm very sorry. You know, I'm having technical difficulties, so I understand that you can't hear them, but I assure you that I can hear them and I'm sharing everything they're saying with me. Oh, hmm. Okay. So the Hulk is saying that he sees that there is. Oh, let's look so I can draw what you're saying. He's saying that he sees three groups. Okay, so you kind of saw it like Peppa Pig. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to work. So you saw three groups of five, okay? And you knew it was five because, oh, you said because it reminds him of die that he's used when he played games or dice and he so he's pretty much knows without even counting that these are each five and he said that he knows that five plus five plus five is 15. Hulk, you're the first person to ask me that since I've been playing this game. He wants to know if he can keep the money. He says that he also knows that there's 80 cents. Hulk, how did you know there was 80 cents? Oh, he says every dime, these are dimes, are worth 10 cents. And he says every penny is worth one cent, okay? And every nickel is worth five cents. Okay, that's the cent sign. So let's see if we can hear how you counted them, Hulk. So he said he counted the tens first and he had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we knew that this was 50 cents. And then he counted the nickels next by fives, and he had five, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay? And he says that he knew that 25 and 50 equals 75, and then he just added 
five more and knew that it was 80 cents. Well, Incredible Hulk, I will say that that was incredible. Actually, all of your sharing was incredible. Peppa Pig, Vampirina, the Hulk, you at home, thank you so much for sharing. And uh, I hope to do this again with you. Thank you for joining me for today's member talk. I can't wait to see you back at school. Bye.